Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to Tamriel. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online, where we are going to continue our story. So last time we just defeated or resealed the second brother of Strife uh, that happened inside or on top of the volcano, uh, all the way over there. So that was that was definitely a, a pretty cool adventure, and uh, I have no idea what to expect next. So let's talk to Waxy Nash and let's see what comes up next here. I would prefer not to do that again. Is it over? The brothers of Strife are imprisoned. The storm is past. The spire is silent again. It is over, at least for now. Danvel told me he planned to resign his position. He returned to wisdom at the end. Holgan will grumble, but he will lead. At least until the great houses choose another. As for me, I must return to my tribe. I will bask in the sun and try not to think of storms. Stay moist, my friend. Goodbye. And now we have to talk to Tan Val's spirit. So he gave his life basically so he could seal the uh, second brother. And he was the house of uh, the head of House Indoril. And so with him resigning, not sure what's going to happen there. Honor to you, my friend. I had to say farewell. The honor of my house has been restored. Stone Falls is safe, and soon Garin and I will be side by side. May the three watch over you. And you, farewell. Now we have to talk to Holgen, who also just pops out of the mountain. My shield brother is gone. He died as well as anyone could. Let's return to Kragenmore and drink to his memory. So Tanfel wished you to follow him as interim leader of our forces in Stonefall. You what? Kind take him, wherever he is. I'm sure the old bastard is laughing at me. Imagine, leading the military here alone. I suppose I should thank you, my friend. Without you, well, I hope to see you again before we meet at Savagar. Complete quests. So, Sedal's final defeat has been completed. And I basically get... I gained a skill point, alright, that could be pretty nice, so let's check that out. Skills, anything that I can upgrade. Daedric summoning, not right away. Power stone reduces the cost of ultimate abilities. When you... That's decent, but not that great. Rune prison, imprison an enemy in a sphere of dark magic. Sorry, for 15 seconds. Oh, that's, well, a cool ability in PvP, I think. Uh, but for now, yeah, let's let's wait it out. I don't really know what to take next. And then let's check out my journal. The Threat of the Lotus Plague. So that's in the next. So I did go and uh, do a few extra questions to level up. And to my surprise now, this is the end of the story. So we'll have to look for something else to do. But that's alright, because in the main story, we have something called Daughter of Giants. The Prophet has contacted me across great distance for some important purpose. The Prophet has summoned me to the harborage. I should go there at once. So we'll do that. Uh, one thing that I discovered as well is that the waypoints, um, the way shrines... Uh, cost money when you use them from anywhere else but going from way shrine to way shrine uh, is something that you can do for free so that's pretty cool we can just basically go over to this one and then we can since we have to head over here back to the harborage we can take this one Davin's watch confirm and off we go so there you go basically we've uh, saved stone falls from uh, the demons the brothers of strife and from the covenant invasion and that means that uh, we get to uh, talk a little bit to the to the hermit see what he wants next uh, for full disclosure i did uh, go talk to him uh, before uh, this so uh, i did that off screen See if I'm heading in the right direction here. Yeah, I think so. Should be all right. Or is there a road that I'm missing? Uh, maybe we'll, we'll take the road just to be safe. Uh, so uh, there was a quest to find the harborage where basically the prophet has uh, uh, put down his, his new home uh, for now. And there he showed me uh, visions from the past, uh, which was basically how the king of worms uh, betrayed his companions um, and 
the aim of those companions was basically uh, to make someone a dragonborn so he could sit on the uh, is it the ruby throne uh, so the throne of i think the the empire basically and yeah, now we actually do have to uh, start going in this direction uh, but yeah he betrayed them um, at the end as as betrayers always do and uh, now his his cult is um yeah up to a lot of of bad stuff and um, due to his betrayal the veil between um reality here uh, I, I don't know all the exact lore names uh, but uh, basically uh, the world we live in and uh, oblivion uh, has become very weak and it's only as long as someone sits on the throne and that the fires are lit uh, i think it's in the capital so as long as there is an emperor uh, that the world is is safe from oblivion but uh, if that would get broken then oblivion uh, could uh, yeah start uh, coming through into our world causing a lot of trouble obviously we don't want that and uh, our next step was going to be to to save uh, one of the companions that was involved in that story who is now stuck in oblivion she's actually from the very beginning of the elder scrolls online um, during the tutorial phase she basically helps you find the prophet and then break out so i think that recaps what happened off screen um and uh yeah let's let's head to the harborage and let's see uh what comes next so solo i'm not exactly sure if that means that this could scale depending on um, the party that you choose to uh, to take with you uh, if that's the case i think that would be really awesome that means that you should be able to do almost all of the content uh, as uh, a single player experience basically so here we go i do think i'm in, in like a private instance and here is the prophet who has uh, taken refuge here in the harborage it, it looks pretty cozy i love uh, the light here and here he is so he's also obviously a wizard with a staff let's start talking to him it is good to see you again and i do see you in my own way you're a wound in time tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure and that that doesn't sound too good why do you speak in riddles prophet Fate speaks in riddles your fate was written in the scrolls long ago it is entwined with the fate of the five companions i have finally located lyris titanborn in cold harbor is she safe she works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver molog bar her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Okay. Tread carefully in Molog Baal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. Um, all right. Just, you know, we'll, we'll check it out. Um, and uh, so we're heading back to that infernal prison. And this will be the first look uh, in this series uh, in Cold Harbor, which is actually, yeah, more like Baal's. Uh, realm in oblivion uh, this is basically where i was rescued first and uh, part of the story is that i'm a soulless husk now that is walking i think it's called nern uh, the uh, the reality that i was describing so here we go uh, let's uh, summon a couple of allies just in case uh, that is also something that i learned the winged twilight here awesome second pet so that's pretty damn good and now we have to talk to Lyris Dremora Caitiffs those aren't too nice quick look at where we have to go oh, just down here somewhere so he doesn't like me luckily I can now trap him put up a spell and with uh, with my new lightning staff that works quite nicely all right let's see if we can find her here she is Lyris Titanborn because she's she's a she's a pretty tall lady you're alive. Are you really here, or is this another trick? It's me, and the prophet sent me to find He's you. Still alive. Thank the gods. But you, you can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. Uh, we're not. You don't understand. They've done something to me. I can't leave. And uh, what do you mean? It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've, they've been fragmented ripped apart and all the fragmented pieces have been locked away in different parts of the foundry 
then well, I'll go and retrieve them. Tried. The Daedra took everything. My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. Then we'll do it together. I'll do my best. Lead on. That's good. All right. Quick look at the map here. Uh, enter the foundry. So that should be all right to do next. Um, yeah, definitely sounds like something uh, one of the uh, Lords of Oblivion would do as a form of torture. But I'm not without power either, so I've learned a thing or two. Um, These lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. While I was away. Guards don't even beat them anymore. So again, get stuck. Um, that uh, debuff there adds damage by my pets, which is pretty handy. And now we actually have to deal with two of them. So that one is trapped. All right, let's focus on him if we can. Oh, nope, he doesn't like that. All right, now finally he's hitting something else. That's good. Let's do this. See if I can trap him. Didn't have the mana anymore. All right. Let's enter. Well, it's the right way. Cliffside Graveyard. Well, we do have a waypoint, so enter the foundry again. And here we go again. The atmosphere in this game is just blowing me away. This is. Uh, this can't be. It looks like my childhood home in Skyrim. My parents' graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. Man, her ponytail. Old enemy. <laughs> father? Papa? Is that you? You are. All right, let's see what's happening here because uh, we get quite a bit of story. Ragjar. All right, stop whatever it is you're doing. Your mind and soul are already ours. Abandon your pathetic rescue. Okay, he's taken care of, and we get to talk to Xalder. Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? I'm here to help her. Who are you? In life, I was Gjalder father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. All right, so they're using you to keep Lyris shackled to Cold I Harbor? I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? Guilt, obviously. Lyris, is this true, child? You were always so cold. So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You, you couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child, just as I love you, more than life itself. We cannot change the past, nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. And there we go. Be at peace. He's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. So, some, uh, some family history that's just been settled. Of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. All right, let's see what's up next. So this looks like a military camp. Keep your head down. Okay. And now her solitude. Let's see what we can find in here. Her griefs. 
All right, so she finds some equipment here. That's good. All the pieces. Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right, let's get back to it. Act natural. And so she was, uh, yeah, bullied basically in service as well. Now, how do I give her the armor? I guess she's over here. We can do that. Did you find something? I believe this belongs to you. This armor is. Excellent. I'm ready. Holy crap! Yeah, looks pretty good advance into the foundry so we we could go and and try to basically kill them but uh yeah he doesn't like us so at least uh now she's wearing armor and she'll uh, she'll fight with us so that's pretty good not sure what that was definitely not a spell i did but we can continue Obviously, she's a more than capable fi uh, fighter. Has made these tunnels unstable. Roll to that. Ouch! Let's uh, quickly heal up. Let's see if we can get through here. Some more Dremora to take care of. He's trying to flee and burn everything down. All right, now we should be good. There we go. Let's take a quick look at the map here. Yeah, just have to keep going straight forward. So again, more like small servants, but they won't stop us. He doesn't like my clan fear. That was a pretty cool swing, I must say. Knocking him back. That was really cool, actually. So on we go. Which way to go now? You traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned. Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Spones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Ancient Clan Fear. All right, you know, we're gonna... We're gonna grab it. And uh, Manny Marco, I think, was the name of uh, the King of Worms. So he was the betrayer and there was another mage uh, which you just saw amongst the companions. I'm not sure why she called him a traitor. I didn't really see that myself, but it's it's possible that he like fled or something like that. Uh, let's let's grab her axe as well. Oh, it's good to have you back. Are you thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend? All right, now let's see if we can talk to her a bit. Come on, come on, stop, <laughs> stop running around like that. My axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. Why would Tharn try to help you? I don't you? know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now, I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. And how do you feel Better. now? Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> well, that's strange. I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel like a warrior again. We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. But now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. All right, let's check it out. And... Back. Let's see what she's got. Gonna stop me now. Pebbles, huh? <laughs> I guess uh, giants do th see things a little bit differently in scale. So again, we can advance into the foundry. So 
many Daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving. Roger that, so we'll uh, get him stuck here for a moment. Stun him a little bit. And she just basically bashed him over the head. That was pretty good. Uh, primary target is that one. So let's uh, do it like this. Because uh, they can do some pretty annoying spells. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Burned to a crisp with the power of lightning. And let's see what we find next. Ooh, an ambush. Take that. Very nice swing right there. Yep, she's uh, she's definitely getting the hang of it once again. Um, yeah, let's stun this guy. Make sure he doesn't attack us too much. And down. Final one. Um, yeah, mostly melee, right? So we can make sure that they're stuck. Let's try not to draw too much attention. Oh, which we just did. So let's get behind them. Oh my. <laughs> that was pretty cool again. The rush forward there. And luckily, we are powerful enough. So we can keep going. Prison of Echoes. That's uh, where we came that, from. It sounded like... No. It couldn't be. Investigate the chamber. What's happened to you? What have they done? Lyris. Lyris. I can see you. Are you really there? Sai, it's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They want the Amulet of Kings. Want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! All right. No! Bring him back, you bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Um. Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. Okay, there must be a way. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. Let's go then. So again, we have to keep advancing, which is this way. All right. Let's open this up. Yeah, pretty, pretty uh, long quest here in Oblivion. So off we go. Oh my God, this actually looks like infernal machines here as well. Uh, the, uh, the, the lore of the Elder Scrolls is definitely uh, really, really interesting. It's not just straight up magic and things like that. There's actually technology in this as well which I love, it's very mysterious. Uh, I'm not the biggest Elder Scrolls lore buff, but I think it's really cool. Uh, we can keep going forward, so let's trap these guys. Let's curse them. All right, I actually blocked that successfully. That one is down. And the tail swipe finishes him off. Pretty good. Let's keep going. All right, all of these guys are just empty husks. The Crucible of Terror. Something's wrong. All the doubt, the fear, the loneliness. It's all coming back. I, I have to push through this. Let's go. Vanquish Lyris' Terror. All right, it looks... What's it going to be? That's the question. Uh, no, I have to go forward. Okay, it's gonna be over here. Defend us. That thing. It's the source of all my fears. All right, here we go. Manifestation of terror. Oh man, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, after this hit, we'll be healing up. Keep going. Keep fighting, Lyris. You can do it. Uh, not a lot of mana left. 
let's see. Alright, that worked out quite nicely. myself from a distance I felt disconnected but now <laughs> this is the best I've felt in years like I've been reborn and I owe it all to you thank you let's get out of here we yep. need to rescue Sai then we've got a world to save so durability loss first time I see that not sure what exactly it is uh, maybe I can see it in inventory or something Oh yeah, my uh, my staff doesn't seem to be doing too well, but we can take the portal to the uh, harborage. So let's do that. Rescuing someone from Oblivion seems to be done. Uh, pretty cool. The boss was not very hard. So that was quite all right. But interesting story, interesting adventure here. And uh, this is supposed to be the main quest. So everything, everything you saw so far was actually all a big side quest. To basically I think power up a little bit get my powers back and um, now we get to bring her back John, are you all right yes prophet I'm fine the vestige freed my mind from the dangerous control mind the divine your loss would have thrown all into chaos they won't take me again not alive at least prophet Menemarko captured Sai Sahan he's torturing him to find out where the amulet of kings is hidden we have to rescue him. And the uh, next up, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna keep going here. Let's see. Back and largely intact from the look of her. She's been through a lot, she all right? Time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. So we saw a projection of Sai Sahan. He spoke what to us. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? Then we must locate him before Menemarko forces him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. Uh, we also saw a projection of, of Abman Tarn. He tried to help Lyris. Maybe. I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarko and his worm cult. Curious, I'm curious. Sai Sahan said that Minamarko wants the I just amulet. saw in my visions the amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Time Real from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. And how can I help? And now you must lead me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. Okay, and this is actually a good question. Why did Molak Bal leave Lyris a uh, possibility of Perhaps escaping? Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell, Vestige. All right, see you later, Prophet. And so, yeah, there you go. Uh, I think I'll try to cover these main quest parts um, from now on because they are pretty cool. Uh, although it's a lot of talking and a lot of story, uh, that's really what I'm after here, the story in the Elder Scrolls Online. So there you go. We saved the Daughter of Giants. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.